right now, my time is for you. So I want to make sure that, um, you know, in today's town hall, we can give you the latest and greatest updates. The annual Neighbor Support Night. All right, all right. So tell me about Neighbor Support Night. We have here today, Junia Robinson. How are you? Good. I'm doing great, Greg. We're so excited. Neighbor Support Night. We are officially in Neighbor Support Night Countdown, Thursday, February 15th, here in the City Hall parking garage. We're so excited. Tell me, why should I come? <laughs> Neighbor Support Night, it's an opportunity for employees to showcase the services you provide to the community. This year, it's all about big city projects, and we're so excited. We got a question out there? Yes, Greg, we have a quick question regarding right. Neighbor Support Night. Who should the neighbors contact if they want to volunteer for Neighbor Support Night? They would contact our office, 954-828-5289, or email neighborsupport at fortlauderdale.gov, or email me, Junia R at fortlauderdale.gov. Excellent, Junia. Thank you so much for that we announcement. We are FTM. We are FTM. <laughs> our next topic is, so I call it Click Fix FTL, but today I am honored to have um, a Portia Garcia. Tell us what are you doing and what is Fix It FTL? What is that? Okay, so Fix It FTL is our customer relation management tool that will be replacing Q Alert, which we right now call Lauder Serve. With this tool, the public as well as internal users would be able to open up request service requests, and those service requests would be routed internally. And the examples that I would give is if you see a pothole on the street or if you have a code enforcement violation, or if you had a request for transportation and mobility, all of those service request types that go to the different departments would be managed through this tool. That's amazing. And you know what this does too, it helps us understand where the pain points are across the community. I think it's important for um, for like, just like, like overall, uh, uh, a better level of awareness uh, from staff's perspective. So Fix It FTL, that's coming soon. When do you think this is going to hit the street? March 5th. Okay. And we will have a table at Neighbor Support Night. So we're super excited for that. We have some graphics and we'll also have an app very soon. All right. Awesome. So there you have it. Fix It FTL. You're going to be able to text your your stuff in and, and get a number and 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 just help support the community. I'm telling you, I get a lot of text messages throughout the weekend, so I can't wait for this to come <laughs> online. Um, because I'm, I'm right now the F Fix It FTL kind of person, and Anthony and Susan too, over the weekend. You all um, are going to probably see this at Neighbor Support Night. This is the City of Fort Lauderdale updated service directory where we have all the phone numbers to everyone and anyone. And so this is also available in digital format with a QR code. You can get also the digital version. And certainly we want to hand these out, want to share this with people. I'm going to put this on my business card so that people can like, how do I call for who, you know, well, just check out the digital book that you have all the numbers there. What's going to happen with City Hall? What's going on right now? And here, you know, we're reimagining City Hall. Uh, Anthony, tell me a little more about that. Sure. Um, so there's a lot going on. We have, uh, through Office of Budget Management, there's some outreach that's being coordinated through our infrastructure task force. And what they're doing is they're going out and talking to amongst themselves and to members of the public to kind of get a feel for what the public wants to see in a new city hall. We are getting as much feedback and, and input as we can. We think that these efforts will, will come to some sort of resolution sometime around the middle of the year, May, June, July-ish. No, that's great. No, uh, thanks for sharing that update. So right now, pretty much we're like in planning mode, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, good. So let's talk about something that's coming up. And that is the Cis Trunk Festival. So are you excited about that, Portia? I'm very, very excited about it, Greg. So coming up on February 24th, we have the Cis Trunk Festival. Uh -huh. So the festival has been around since 1979. Well, you know what? I think we've said a lot. Uh, look out for this. Look out for this. And certainly look out for this. All the events and excitement going on. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. And... We are FTL. FTL.